Hey everyone, Matt here with The Farm. First of all, I want to apologize about yesterday. We were trying to get this PvP story out really quickly, and David did it too fast, and some of the information was inaccurate. I apologize about that. We took that on the video, so this video is kind of like the corrected version of that video, plus a little bit more, because as you know, as we inch closer day by day to the release of Destiny 2, September 6th, we're getting more news every day, so the good news is more news has come out today, and and that makes this video like have something else if you've already saw the other one. So first things first, this week at Bungie just launched, not only do they talk about the PC beta getting additional changes, AKA tweaks that they learned from the beta, maybe faster recharge rates on supers, stuff like that, but also they're getting a new Crucible map, Javelin 4. So that's the difference is PC players will get a different PVP map to try out that the console players got. Pretty cool stuff. Remember, that's launching on August 28th. So look forward to that, PC players. The Destiny API will launch August 23rd. For those of you that don't know what the API is, like Destiny 1, Destiny is very unique in the fact that many of its intervals are available via the API. So apps can be made and websites can be made. So stuff like if you ever played Destiny 1, there was a item manager that you can move your weapons from class to class or just look at your exotics. It's things like Ghost Tracker or your stats in the Crucible, like Destiny Tracker, and see all this stuff thanks to the API because the API is basically like built into the game connected to Bungie's thing, and then third parties can make apps using this that can provide us better data, and it can also control some things, such as moving your items over to your inventory, to your vault space. If you are on your Warlock, you don't want to sign out of your Warlock and go to your Titan. You can just like easily use either the Bungie app, which supported this, or a third-party app like Istar Commander or the Destiny Item Manager, and move the gun over. So the great news is Destiny 2 is not changing, and we're going to have that feature again. And for all the people that want to start making cool apps, like wasted on Destiny, how much time you actually spend in Destiny, you can start making apps for that starting August 23rd. Programmers will actually get to use this before the game launches and start making really cool stuff. And as we get closer to the release, we're going to see some really cool community-made stuff that's going to help us play the game better and access items better. And that's really exciting. So we'll be sure on the farm to post the ones we really like or any cool ones that come out as they do. Moving along, this is kind of random, but the Daily Star, which is normally like a gossip site, actually had a talk with Crucible Lee Lars Backen, who was able to help explain some of the like, more like crazy changes like 4v4. So the first question they ask him, like, why move everything to 4v4? It's a pretty big change. And he's like, look, there might be other modes coming back later, but right now we've announced all the modes that are coming, you know, they have the two competitive modes and then they have the kind of casual modes, the quick play modes, and they don't really want to go into like anything else they'll be adding down the line, but as you know, DLC is going to be coming free DLC and also paid DLC. They have the season pass, which has two expansions that, that has already been announced and you know, we're going to get to keep getting content drops, you know, with new free stuff. So they said, why did you change it to 4v4? And they just said, you know, some things didn't work. And ultimately we felt we, it will feel different in a way that we think players will really enjoy so it wasn't done to be like mean or anything they just think that this is more a more balanced experience did you rework trials which is 4v4 how does that change the dynamic they said trials will be different I'm not going to talk about this much, you know, but we are going to have some sort of trial modes. Whether it's at launch, we, we can't talk about that yet. The rumor, of course, is it's going to be called Trials of the Nine, like the people that Xur answers to, and not Trials of Osiris anymore. That's the rumor. But yeah, we know that some sort of trials mode will come back. How soon it comes into play, we don't know, but relatively soon. Luke Smith did say it should be there soon-ish. We know there's some sort of mode that's like Trials. We do not know its official name. They said, is Clash coming back or 6v6 or any of those? Or are they completely gone? Lars says it's gone. And then he said, do you think it's something you can go in the future, like a large map? He said, I think it's very difficult to go back at this point. We're very focused on 4 you gore They asked him then, you're now on PC. You got that connection with Blizzard as well. What are the chances of seeing a Destiny 2 PTR in the same way that we've seen with Overwatch? So you guys could try things before rolling them out, like a public test server. And they said, I can say we do that internally. Whether we decide to do a public is not sure at this point. 
There's no way to release a game like Destiny without having played it in a realistic environment. So right now it's a no, but maybe in the future. They go a little bit into more, but right now he's like, yeah, it's not really happening. Then the next question, a lot of changes around the Crucible, it seems, are making it more competitive and having focus 4v4. Is there any chance we could see Destiny in sort of an eSport environment? It's certainly more formatted for that scene than it was before. And he says, I think that's a great question. I think Bungie has a long tradition of being active in the competitive realm, starting all the way back in previous games like Halo. It's something we talk about a lot. I also think that esports scene is really interesting. I think players choose where they want to spend their time, and they're likely to choose the sport games they love. If they decided Destiny is a space that they love and prop it up in that way, then that's something we think we are interested in. But yes, I don't want to presume that from the beginning. Yes, we want to make a game that feels more comfortable in a tournament setting. That was one of our goals, but that doesn't mean we want to go straight to world championships. I wish we can give a definitive answer more, but I think the reality is what people feel comfortable with first, and it's something they want, and we have the ability to support, then we're gonna support it. But if not, like, we're just happy to have the game too. So, it really seems like, even though a lot of people were mad that Bungie is, like, seemingly, like, making this game more for competitive, that they're not really, though. It's still gonna be not all about that. It's a bit, like, in the middle. Finally, the other bit of Destiny news, and this is the new thing, is Destiny 2 pre-orders are way above that of Destiny 1, and the Destiny 2 beta had way more players than Destiny 1. So all things considered, it seems like Destiny 2 is gonna have even a bigger community than Destiny 1 had. That means more people playing Crucible, Strikes, Raids, and so it seems like this game is gonna do really well, and that's good for all of us fans because that means more content, more support, and hopefully Destiny 2 has an even longer lifespan than Destiny 1 has. So we had about three years of Destiny 1. Maybe Destiny 2 can be five years. Who knows if they just keep adding new stuff to it. It can be something like Guild Wars, where Guild Wars 2, where they keep just announced they're coming up with a new expansion pack, or WoW even, where Destiny 2 just keeps getting updated. That'd be really cool instead of us having to buy things we can carry our Guardians. But let me know what you think. Should we keep expanding Destiny 2? Or should we just make a new sequel as technology is better, gonna want to move engines, get better graphics, etc, etc. Oh, and one more thing, if you haven't pre-ordered Destiny 2 yet, GameStop announced today they have more of the Cade 6 action figures right now. So if you go in and you want one of those, you can grab them. They're back and stop, stop at GameStop. This is a US promotion. I do not know if other countries have this, but GameStop in the US, they just posted on their Twitter that the Cade 6 promotion is back for a limited time. So if you missed out on that and want one of those Cade 6 figures, then now's your chance. Uh, sorry about the last video. Going forward, we're gonna try to thoroughly check our videos and make sure they're as accurate as possible. Thanks so much for listening to The Farm and check you later, Guardian.